what's up guys this is sunny back with another video and today real quick i just want to uh, show you guys what's the difference uh, in, like in temperature difference between stock uh, amd uh, ryzen 7 1700 uh, rate spare cooler versus uh, Corsair h105 uh, hydro liquid cooler so basically today i received my uh, M4 bracket from Corsair. I had to wait almost like a month for this bracket and also I paid like $9.99 for this bracket So if you have like a Corsair H105, yes, you can install that cooler on uh, your uh, X370 uh, board or V350 board all you have to do basically just contact uh, Corsair and get the bracket from uh, Corsair. That's about it now, as you guys can see, the installation was really easy, guys. Um, so basically, it comes with the M4 bracket, as you guys can see uh, right here, M4 bracket. Also came with four screws uh, that goes in the uh, back plate, that goes to the back plate, and also it comes with uh, four thumb screws. So basically, you don't really need to get a screwdriver and tie it up, and you don't want to tie it up too much because you might break it. So basically, just uh, tie it up with your finger, and that's about it. So now maybe you guys are thinking why the cooler has like a white ring on it because uh, Corsair H105 doesn't come with a white ring around the uh, cooler. So basically what I had to do, I had to paint one of the ring. Uh, it was a blue ring that I painted uh, white. So that's the reason. Uh, so it could match with my belt. Also, I, maybe you guys are thinking why I have a zip ties. So the reason I had to install zip tie because of the way uh, my cooler is installed, as you guys can see right on the top. So the it's it's, it's really hard to route uh, the cooler, uh, the piping, as you guys can see those two pipes. Uh, it's really hard to route because it's coming from the top. So basically, I had to tie up zip ties so I can push those back. Also, there's like a uh, little uh, adjustable, as, as you guys can see, I can adjust those two pipes. So I can like, if I want, I can just pull it down or up. So that's the cool thing about uh, Corsair H105 cooler. And I really like the Corsair H105 cooler because of the uh, way it looks. Um, because as you guys can see, I have like all my fans have like white rings on it, and also my cooler has like a white rings on it, so that kind of gives like a nice uh black and white uh like a theme the look. I really love it, and um so real quick uh let's just look at uh the temperature. I have my Excel spreadsheet open, so as you guys can see right here, AMD Ryzen uh seven seventeen hundred overclock to. 3.8 gigahertz uh, with 1.35 bulb. So the temperature, as you guys can see, Ryzen uh, stock, uh, you know, rate uh, spare air cooler. The idle temperature was around 48.78 Celsius, and the max load temperature was around 79.23 uh, Celsius. And as you guys can see, the Corsair H105 hydro liquid cooler. The idle temp was around 33.88 Celsius. So this is really good going from a stock air cooler to a liquid cooler. And as you guys can see, the max load temp is around 62.74 Celsius. So as you guys can see, 79.23 Celsius to 62.74 Celsius. So it's a huge temperature drop. Now, I use the real bench, Asus real bench to uh, stress test uh, CPU uh, with both of the cooler, the stock cooler and the H105 uh, cooler. So I uh, ran the stress test for around like 25 minutes so, uh, and, and also I monitored the temperature with the AMD Ryzen Master because uh, with the new updated uh, AMD Ryzen Master you can uh, now uh, you can see the exact uh, temperature basically because before it was like I believe like almost 10 or 15 uh, was, temp, uh, temp was different or something so right now it's perfectly fine if you guys are like stress testing your uh, CPU with like real bench or the 64 or anything you can use uh, AMD Ryzen Master uh, to monitor the temperature and everything so guys real quick i just wanted to share with you guys you know and i just want to give you guys a tips if you guys are planning on overclocking your cpu anything more than 3.7 uh, gigahertz 
get yourself a bigger air cooler okay or get yourself a liquid cooler i do recommend you guys to get a liquid cooler over air cooler because if you have an air cooler and you don't have like a proper exhaust fans or intake fan set up the air is just gonna get stuck in the case that's the another reason i really don't like air cooler i like liquid cooler you know so you can take all the air out like the way i have set up you know i'm pushing all the air out and uh, to back of my case as you guys can see right here i don't know if you guys can see right there i have like a vent so and another thing with this in one case uh you cannot install uh the uh, cooler like the liquid cooler uh the front of your case you can't okay because they there is no there's nothing as you guys can see and bottom i really don't recommend uh you can install some intake fan in the bottom if you have a uh in 303 case but do not install uh the uh radiator here because i really don't recommend because of the space and it's really not good so guys um like i said if you have a you know if you're planning on buying a uh ryzen uh 5 uh, 1600x or ryzen uh, 7 1700 go with a liquid cooler okay you can get like a uh, like a cheaper uh, uh, deep cool or uh, there's like a lot of other brand like Corsair h55 cooler you don't have to get the cooler I have here uh, this cooler you guys can pick it up for around I believe hundred and nineteen not hundred and nineteen dollar from Newegg if you guys want I'll leave a link in the description for you guys and uh, that should be it guys okay if you guys have any other question uh, don't forget to leave in the comment below and real quick I just want to uh, show you guys um, a sneak peek of upcoming build that I'm working on a ITX build so I just want to show you guys that I picked up a SFX power supply it's a really tiny power supply like around this big and it's a 400 watt power supply I got some Rams Corsair Vengeon LPX I got a SSD, uh, Micron 256 gig. So basically that will be like a budget build. And also I'll be using the stock cooler. And for now, I will build the system with uh, Core i3-6100, as you guys can see right here. Uh, you guys not gonna believe I paid $61 for the CPU uh, from Facebook store. So don't forget to check out Facebook store if you want good deals. Um, I have my uh, Wi-Fi card just laying around there. Also, I'll be using a uh, Silverstone uh, Raven case. As you guys can see, I don't know if you guys can see, it's really dark here, but I'll be using that uh, case. So, yeah, guys. If you guys have any other question, don't forget to leave in the comment below. And don't forget to subscribe, like, and share, and because uh, that helps me a lot. And that should be it. Peace, guys.